next project is this. So I'm going to put a piece of ply against there and then I'm going to tongue and groove this and encase it in uh, to finish that side off there. And uh, we've got a mirror left over from the camper van, uh, from the caravan that we stripped. And my missus has suggested that it would go well there, so we're going to have a look at fitting that as well. So uh, I'll make a start on this. So firstly, um, I'm just going to measure, see what distance we've got. <clears throat> And then I'll start putting the first bit of tongue and groove up. Right up against there. What I'll do is be careful to note these are the edges that I want, you know, the nice straight edge. The other side is the rounded one, which I don't want. Same as I did last time when I was on the other wall. Just make sure got it nice and straight. Because this is a corner piece here and it's an anchor, I will actually put just too gently in. That's I'm putting a corner piece over here and it's a good job really, isn't it? <coughs> Take two. Okay, once you've cut the next piece, <clears throat> then spend three years messing with a piece of tape that won't let go of your fingers. Right. Then just put a, a blob of the sealant there. Don't do any harm, I've got a wee bit there either. Putting that over just to keep it from uh, drying while I cut it. Making sure you get your edges right, your straight edge to your straight edge, not that way round. There you go. That's it. Just push that in. Yeah. And that will hold in nice. No, <clears throat> I had an epiphany, but don't worry, I cleaned it up. This dial stuff, this insulation I've got left over, I've decided to put it in there. It's a little bit of extra soundproofing. I don't think you need it, but hey ho. Um, and I just thought it's, you know, it's there to be used and it'll just be sat in the shed otherwise. So I filled that up because I'm tongue groove over there. I thought it's an extra cavity. Um, so I've just pushed all of that in there. And also this side here that I've just encased in now. Um, I did the same to that one as well. So uh, I'm just putting the first one up on this side which is going to go in there like so there. and we shall start fastening that in there so. carry on measuring and cutting um, And you'll 
we'll get there. It's, only, it's a bit of a tight space now. Especially for me, being a bit of a big old chappy. Okay, that's in. I put a little dab of, uh, you know, Watskis on earlier. <coughs> so. It's actually nice to do some clad work again. Especially with how nice it's going on, and how it transforms the uh, van surfaces as well that you're working with. Okay, that's another piece on. All I'm doing now is I've got a slight gradient there, but again, trim is tidying all of this up. Um, what I'm doing is hooking that down to here. Finishing off this trim up to here. All I'm doing is just lining them up, marking them, and then cutting off, and then just do that all the way along till I get to here, and then again it will be a long piece that I'll cut again. Okay. Get on with it, James. <coughs> right, it's time to slip some varnish on now. Take this wood. So I'll put the first coat on. And also down here, you can see down there, there's a wee cubby hole. See it there? And I've just built a little door out of scrap wood. And that will go on to there and that's for what I'm going to use for storage for cleaning equipment and stuff like that so <clears throat>
down now. I'm going to build a small platform across here. Uh, have it in a, uh, I'm hoping sort of like a, you know, like this sort of shape, rounded, you know, so that uh, it's um, no sharp edges, nobody to bang your feet into sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> so I'll raise the platform about yay high. And then uh, I'll look at putting in uh, a log burner. Um, yeah, so make a start on that. Cut two pieces of this floorboard in again. Put that in there because this will be a storage area under there, so I just you'll see it occasionally. So I wanted it to look neat. So I'm just putting that. And I'll put a couple of screws in there just to hold that in place as well. I'm just cutting the supports for the um, for the base. Um, so what I'm doing is uh, using some gash wood that uh, I've got, and one of these a miter saw, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> because it seems to hold the wood better because I held that with one hand but when you're cutting angles that you want to keep it's absolutely perfect for it <laughs> somewhere for air to escape. And pencils. Take two. Yeah, we need a an air gap. Uh, so as it heats up it's got somewhere to go. All under in the oh, no, 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 that's not good. Not that it needs to be this straight, but so when you've uh, pushed the buttons behind. <coughs> and the hardy backer against the buttons. That's the hardy backer heats up in the tiles, that air gap behind just the hot air rises out and it's, it preserves whatever upholstery or whatever you've got behind there you know insulation stuff like that. right I'm going to cut the hardy backer now um, uh -huh. In a straight line. And that's it. That's it. There, look, see, see the gap there now. Look, air can escape. That's my wall that I wanted to protect, exterior wall there. I don't mind that wall getting warm. There's plenty of protection, there's a big thick piece of ply, other stuff, so it's not too much of a drama. And it will warm the bathroom as well. Right, I've uh, hardy back is in. What I'm doing now is just putting some battens up. And deciding where to put them, so I'll have one at the bottom like so
there you go because it's not load bearing it's just going to have this uh, which is not an issue okay so i'll put another two on there the the last one i'll drill into the metal there so it's nice and secure okay nicely does it right just uh, stick a few of these on now measure them up first one in Oh, yeah, look at a nice big difference to that. Oh, I've just grazed my shin beautifully on that piece of wood down there. Ow, did well for not swearing though. Right. Final piece I'm putting on here, just to keep this tidy. Wonderful. Stop fondling it, James. Put a nail in it. Beautiful. Put in a couple of... Uh, I've just marked these up now. Uh, I was going to show you as I went along, but I'm listening to Planet Rock and they played Pink Floyd shine on your crazy diamond right from the beginning so I just couldn't break into that song I just had to listen to it all the way through so uh, obviously I was working as I was doing it so I've cut them marked them up with a pencil either side there and then that's really rigid now but it's not fastened in there we go so now I'm gonna drill these from there and put these onto there okay um, <clears throat> and then I'll put them back in here screws through there we've now got our support then um, so I can do that. this is the template I'm using when I start cutting the main ply uh, sorry the main path so what I've done is cut this and there. Now I want it rounded so that's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to get to the, I think that's far enough there, maybe a wee bit more, I think there. just messing with my base and I've made a circle at the back here just in pencil because I drill through there that pipe is going to go down through the van floor and then obviously I'll cut it off so there's the right length then push it down so that when you light in the fire it draws air from underneath the van straight up. A smoking carpet, smoking. There we go. Cool. That fits in there nice. Got the seal down there. <clears throat> right, I'm just 
tidying up using trim before I put that other piece on. It's a bit laborious, but I like wood and it looks nice when it's varnished. I'm going to put a little door on the end of this, like I did with the last one over there. I'll do that all in me. I'm going to call a video, you know, like a snagging video to uh, get everything, you know, show you how I tidy little bits up and stuff like that. And people down under in the southern hemisphere are all getting ready to enjoy the longer evenings and summer sun and drought and heat wave and famine and starvation and all the other good things that go with extreme weather. Now these are old floorboards. We're talking well over a hundred years old. <coughs> Which I want to put in here. Marking them off now. There we go. And I'll cut that. And then I'm going to uh, go at them with the grinder. I've cut that piece. That's that's blue off the uh, saw blade, but you can. It's still got that pine smell to it, even though it's you know these things are like hundred years old or something that's stupid. They've come out of an old property, a friend gave them to me and she's had them from somewhere and, and they've been in storage for years and God knows what and then they were ripped up out of a property. But they just appeal to me massively. There, look at that. And that's, that's going to look lovely that is all the way around really is. And of course I'll go in there with the grinder and mess all the front of that up so that it looks the part. So there's the first piece in. <coughs> I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. So I'll cut that now, and that'll fit straight into there. There. Now what I'm going to do is take the top layer off. and score it and mark it and give it an effect. You know. I hope you'll like it. But if you can see that, it looks nice and smooth. I just want to leave a little bit of paint in there to give it that colour. What I'm going to do, while my brain's still functioning, is
Got a cut in this skin. the effect I wanted to create. Um, if you look at that now, that goes over there nice. Don't that look beautiful? Obviously the fire and everything. Nice edge to it, nice warm edge as well, so nothing to catch yourself on. It's lovely and smooth. So I'm going to put some varnish on that now. Okay, now I've got this lined up. Little pilot hole just to start it off. Okay, push that together now. There, it's in nice. The reason I'm putting a screw in every one is because it is going to be carrying a fair weight so. We want it to be nice and solid, no moving around. And there we go, she's ready for a bit of varnish now. Way out my comfort zone today.
for tuning in. <coughs> so that's it for this week now. Um, I wanted to get these sorted. So never tiled before in my life. Um, <coughs> I was born into a service family. The old man was in the RAF, so we never did tiling, wallpaper, nothing because uh, you didn't in married quarters, you know. So it was all brand new to me. Never done it. Never tried it before. It's not perfect, but it's on. It's secure. And I'm just leaving it go off now. Um, and it means that I've, I've achieved what I wanted to set out to do. And uh, I did the best I could with what I could do. And I'm happy with that as well, the splashback. That looks really nice. That's set off really well. Um, and between, like I say, putting these on, putting that on, cleaning it down with a, a pair of old undercrackers, um, shreddies. <clears throat> undergarments, whatever you want to call them. I think we've got there in the end. The log burner is, is in. I've just got to get the flu now for it. Um, and that's the next task. And that's, yeah, we're getting very, very near completion. Uh, it's starting to look like something now. So, thank you again for tuning in. Um, as always, really impressed with anyone who uh, subscribes watches and gets inspired as well to do more themselves uh, just have a go it's <laughs> you know at the end of the day I travel here once so we may as well do it in a van with a log burner um, right I'll shut up now cue the music thank you for watching